You can, you've got a MIDI file, but it sounds pretty stanky when you try to play it in Rust. It happens more than you might think. First of all, if you didn't know, you can play almost any MIDI file you want in Rust by going into the console and, and typing instruments.playrecording and then your song name. That being said, let's pretend like we're going through the steps. So, right here we have Kingdom Hearts Insider, a website for downloading video game MIDIs. Let's download Anaconda from Time Splitters 2, a great song from a great game. We'll call this file test for now. Note that I'm saving this in the Rust directory in Steam. This is the directory I'm saving it from. Note that I have an instruments folder inside the Rust directory, which is just your Rust game Steam files. So now let's try to play that song. Yeah, that sounds pretty stanky. So let's try to clean that up. So what we're going to do is we're going to open FL Studio and we're going to take our file from before and drag it straight into this corner. Once we drag it, we, we note we will toggle channel 10 and hit accept. We're going to wait a second for that Im import and then we all we need to do from there is hit export MIDI file uh, from the file drop down or we can hit control shift M for fast. And then we can retitle our file as test again. And we all we have to do is hit start. And boom. Now let's go back to Rust and check out that file. Ah, much cleaner. This works because almost every MIDI file stores the drum track on track 10, so by removing it, the instruments aren't trying to output that stanky drum noise anymore. All we needed for the process was FL Studio. The link to the download is in the description, as well as a zip file full of all my various MIDI files that I've already cleaned up. They work best on piano and trumpet. If you have any questions about the songs, feel free to reach out. I read all of the comments. Now, I hope this helps. Go forth and spread the gift of music to your fellow nakeds.